Citizen. Right. I am also pretend excited to be here. <laughs> I am actually very excited because I've got my Dr. Seuss socks on. Look at those socks. Look. <laughs> yeah. I'm like the Lorax. <laughs> That's what it's called, isn't it? The Lorax is coming out soon. That, that thing, it looks like Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed it is. It is, of course. And of course, it is February the 29th. Yes, it is. No, no, look, look, look. Either do it or don't do it, all right? That's great. You've got another four years before we can even try that again. It is, uh, it's Leap Day, of course, a day so special it only pops up once every four years, like Hugh Hefner's penis. <laughs> 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 the, <laughs> one person clapped once, did you hear? It was either that or someone was late and sat down with their bare ass on a leather seat. Like, <laughs> anyway, Leap Day. It's Leap Day. There's a lot of strange traditions. So in Ireland and Norway, women are supposed to ask men to marry them. In Denmark, not only can women ask men to marry them, but if the man refuses, he must give the women 12 pairs of his gloves. <laughs> Come on, Danish ladies. If a man owns 12 pairs of gloves, he's probably not the marrying kind. <laughs> at, le at least not marrying a woman kind. I think you're a... Do you want to see my gloves? <laughs> <laughs> Although it's quite cold in Denmark in the winter, isn't it? Yeah. Very chilly, very chilly. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, Craig. You're thinking, didn't you do your Leap Day monologue four years ago this very night? Well, yes, first of all, I don't know why you would have been watching this crap for four years. And B, I have no idea if I did it four years ago. I was huffing a lot of paint back then. <laughs> Besides, a lot has changed around here since last Leap Day. Last Leap Day, there was no Jeff Peterson. No Jeff. Yeah, I know. I call it the pee pee years. <laughs> You know, pre pre Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also because I used to pee pee myself when I have pain. That's very true. And I used to watch. <laughs> Jeff, you're not going to ask me to marry you, are you? You owe me twelve gloves, sir. <laughs> Wait, no, I I don't have to give you gloves unless I refuse to marry you. So let's pretend we're in Denmark, right? I'll be coming through the fields, uh, putting my fingers in dikes, and you. <laughs> Oh, that's Holland, isn't it? That's Holland. <laughs> All right, so I'm coming through the field. I'm gambling through the fields, and I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a chap walking along. Oh, hello, Danish lady. Hello. <laughs> this is what Danish ladies sound like for the purposes of this bit. <laughs> I think it's sounding a little bit like Downton Abbey, but that's okay. Let's do a Danish sound. <laughs> I'm just walking through the fields. It's lovely here. I put my finger in some dikes, and I'm gambling. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Hello. Would you like to get married? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only got six pairs of gloves on me, so yes, I accept. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. What the hell are we doing? Could you kindly take your finger out of this no, guy? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, now, technically, a person who's born on February the 29th only has a birthday every four years. They're known as leaplings, which I don't think that's very nice. It singles those people out. It makes them feel different. So I prefer to use the less formal term of freaks. <laughs> Do you know who was born on leap day? Tony Robbins. You know, ha happy birthday, freak. Uh, no, no. <laughs> 
Tony Robbins, and Tony is a life coach. You know, it's a fancy name for someone who gets you off your ass. It gets you to, you know, gives you energy to achieve things. I used to have a life coach called Cocaine. <laughs> I achieved jail time. <laughs> Thanks for that clap. No, 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 it wasn't being sarcastic. Someone actually did clap, so not only are you late with the sarcastic clap, you're deaf! <laughs> do you believe this? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable! What do we have to do? See, this is what happens. Every four years, you get a crap audience. <laughs> oh, it's a joke! Light it up! You know what's happened? It's Danish women. It's an audience entirely made up of single Danish women. You'd leave your gloves at the door, ladies. <laughs> No, that doesn't make sense. You didn't listen to what I said. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about Tony Robbins, the world's uh, biggest motivational speaker. I don't mean the most popular, I mean the biggest. He is huge. He, that is true. I heard you saying it. It is true. That, Tony Robbins, I sat next to Tony Robbins once in a restaurant. He was eating live chickens like popcorn. <laughs> and I could hear him going, C5045. <laughs> And he was eating pigs in a blanket. They were actual pigs! Alive in a blanket! You remember that, Jeff? I do. That was... We, <laughs> really? No, it was all over the news. It man. was, and I was there. That, remember that restaurant where you used to be able to get live pigs in blankets? Oh, the sounds they made. Anyway, that restaurant's been closed down. Now, you know, you know what? It's weird. It doesn't feel like an extra day today. I got up this morning. I went outside to get the paper. It felt just like yesterday. Sun is shining. Birds are chirping. Neighbors still yelling at me to put on my pants. <laughs> Hi! This is my penis! <laughs> Remember that, Jeff? <laughs> yes, I do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> he, he lives next door. So, listen, why do we need a leap day every four years? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the Earth orbits the Sun not every 365 days, but every 365 days and six hours. In an astro astronomical sense... Astronomical, is that what you say? In an astronomical sense? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, that extra six hours. It's a tiny amount of time. Scientists refer to it as a Kardashian marriage. It's a very <laughs> small amount of time. What do you make of that? This is what they respond. That's what they want. You try them with the good stuff about Danish uh, wedding proposal etiquette, nothing. Kardashians? Kardashians. Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> check your blood sugar and check it often. <laughs> I do. How do you check your blood sugar? Is that a little device? Yeah, he's a little blood sugar checker. How's your, uh, how's your blood sugar? It's, I don't have any blood. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you want to go to Squealers later after the, uh, Squealers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get some pigs in the blanket. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, why not? I always go to Squealers on Leap Day. Oh, yeah. Rock, 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 shut up, shut up. It's trying to get the tufts of blanket out of your teeth afterwards. Always the problem. Always the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're kind of run out of steam here, buddy. Well, wow, this early in the show. <laughs> I know, usually it's halfway through the first guest, but we're here. <laughs> it's because it's an extra day. Hey, wait a minute, is this an extra... Why am I working if it's an extra day? Why can't I have a day off? I'm an immigrant, that's why. <laughs> All right, you want to... Uh, yeah, this? sure. Yeah, all right. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell a commercial about to run. Be you living or be you dead, save yourself the headache and go back to bed.